Hello and welcome. I'm Willow Grace. Thank you for joining me as we take a look ahead at your astrology forecast for the month of August. Now, before we begin, if you're interested in working with me, you can uh, go to my website and uh, schedule a tarot or astrology consultation. You can also learn and participate by signing up for one of my classes and webinars. If you'd like to receive your monthly astrology update by email, this information can be found at willowgracemystic.com or you can click the link below. Thank you for following and commenting, and if you would like to receive these updates as soon as they're released, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel below. So let's dive in. So Aries, we start the month off with an intense heat and unpredictable change. On August 1st, Uranus, it's the planet of shock and surprise. It's meeting up in the sky with fiery Mars. When Uranus and Mars meet up together in the sky, they tend to trigger shocks and disruption for everyone. Uranus is unpredictable and electrifying. Mars brings about anger and heat. Now add the North Node into the mix and everything becomes intensified. The North Node is where we need to head to feel safe, secure, comfortable, but it's also unknown territory. This combination of planetary energy, it's fueling awakenings. They're going to be centered around values, security, comfort. It will have us uh, wanting security of home, job, and relationships. Then on August 4th, Mercury is the planet of travel, communication, thoughts, ideas. It's going to be entering the very service-oriented sign of Virgo. Your train of thought, it's going to be streamlined for maximum efficiency. This is the perfect time to get things done, to be focused uh, on practicality with words and ideas. This time period is going to be ideal opportunity to sign important documents. And for you, this is going to be in your sixth house of um, health, well-being, and service to others. And so now you can create the schedule, create um, things that will make these things easier for you to do. Next on August 7th, the fiery planet of Mars, it's going to be squaring off with Saturn. Saturn is known as the great teacher. Now this transit's going to have many people finding difficulty with self-expression. Saturn wants to restrict and limit, and you're going to have strong desires and goals, but challenges are going to arise in the expression and how to attain your wants and needs. Remember, focus on what you've already achieved and what you already have. There may also be some problems that you may experience with authority, so be humble and modest during this transit. Next, on August 9th, Venus is the planet of material wealth, love, and beauty, and she's going to oppose the planet of Pluto. Now, remember that Pluto is the great revealer. So with this transit, you can expect intense pressures. This could be with your closest relationships. There can be emotional pressure, drama, manipulation, power plays, or instant attraction. Sometimes pressure and pain, they're intrinsically linked. So use caution, do not give your power away, and expect great transformation to be reflected back to you. Next on August 11th, we're going to have two transits. The first is Venus. This is Venus is the planet that rules love, romance, and she is moving into the fiery hot sign of Leo. So Leo is passionate and adventurous. So this time period, we're going to begin to have a pleasant phase in your life with seeking romance, comfort, luxury, and this is in your fifth house of children, love affairs, and creation of projects. We're also going to have a beautiful full moon in the eclectic sign of Aquarius. Now, full moons, they bring endings, closures, all kinds of giving thanks to things. They, they with the endings and closures, open up doors for new beginnings. Now, Aquarius is the 11th sign of the Zodiac, and it reminds us that every single person does have a part to play in the collective change. So with the energy of Aquarius, you're going to want to embrace your individuality, your eccentricities, your minor imperfections. This is going to include your strengths and everything. So be your authentic self. And on a personal level, this full moon and its energy is going to encourage radical change in our lives and our friendships. And for you, this is happening in your 11th house of social circles, your social networks, uh, your friends, your uh, activities, your spiritual aspirations. 
Next on August 20th, we're going to have a Mars Gemini transit. Now, Mars is the planet that rules our drive and our passions. Gemini thrives in high paced situations with lots of energy coming and going. The pace of Mars and Gemini is going to be fast and furious, the need to get rid of boredom and routine. So we're going to be excited to explore. Our minds are going to be curious and versatile. So you're going to enjoy meeting challenges head on and exciting opportunities are going to be to connect with others and flirt. And for you, your Gemini house is your third house of close to home. It is your communication, your siblings, your neighbors, your schooling your short trips. Next on August 22nd, the sun that represents our soul, our power, our authority, it enters the earthy sign of Virgo. Now, as the sun moves from the sign of Leo and enters the sign of Virgo, we're going to have this transition of sun of play and fun and now enter the more focused thoughts, uh, dreams, and service to others with how do I turn my dreams into a reality. Focus on this time is going to be solving problems and completing the tasks. So fun time is going to be over and more work detail and work oriented. On August 24th, Uranus, it's going to be stationing retrograde. Now, Uranus highlights our originality. It brings resistance to limitations. Uh, Uranus retrograde sees many opportunities in life and it tries to move us in the right direction. Movement is associated with our innate fear that we have to learn to accept so we don't interfere with our future decisions. Fear limits us in our daily life decisions. Uranus is the planet that encourages us to try to understand this fear, to fight it and to overcome it. Fear limits us in everything that we look at. It brings a lot of problems because we don't have the courage to change our jobs, our relationships, our connections to others. And to be honest with um, ourselves and our love, Uranus retrograde is going to have us turning our energy inward to find the strength to fight these fears. Uranus is not afraid to stand alone or to stand up. So this transit is going to remind us that sometimes it's just better to stand out from others if we want to be more successful in life, to understand our own originality, to internalize and embrace this, and to overcome the fear in being original, to stand out from the crowd. This retrograde period is going to be an opportunity to reclaim our freedom, our originality, and to attract success. Next on August 25th, Mercury, again, the planet of intellect and memory, it's going to enter the harmonious sign of Libra. Now, Libra is the seventh sign of the zodiac. It's associated with balance, beauty, justice, and together, this transit's going to bring about friendly and diplomatic behavior. It's going to get the conversation and the workflow moving so that things can happen. You can use this time to improve your contacts with others and career. Mercury is going to help you make the decisions fast, avoid bad decisions, and examine others' opinions as you hear them. And last, on October 27th, we're going to have a new moon in the sign of Virgo and a sun square Mars. So let's start with the new moon. New moons, they always bring about fresh starts, new beginnings, these new opportunities. A Virgo new moon is different in that it's not a time to plant seeds. Instead, it's about figuring out what have you already harvested? Work to figure out what do you, what do you have and how do you use what you have been working on to create something different uh, with this new beginning. This new moon is going to encourage you to be productive, to break free from what is weighing you down. And the second aspect is sun square Mars. So if the sun represents our soul and Mars is our animal instincts, the sun square gives us the ability to turn our setbacks into something very productive by fighting back and by winning. Um, it's about finding a safe way to express this hot energy that can lead to great achievements in business, relationships, and sports. Thank you for listening and watching this video. If you would like to receive updates as soon as they are released, 
please hit the like and subscribe to the channel below and make sure that you share with friends who you think could benefit from this information. To sign up for my newsletter, you can visit willowgracemystic.com or click the link below. I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below. I heard you. Thank you.